Boris would be ready emergency preparedness here. Now, in Southern California, earthquakes are very common. They're just kind of part of life. As a matter of fact, we had one earlier this morning at 4.3 magnitude just outside of Palm Springs. What a lot of people don't realize is the majority of loss of life from earthquakes doesn't actually come from the shaking itself, but rather from fires that are started from broken gas mains and gas leaks in residential and commercial buildings. So, today, as part of our video preparedness series, we're going to talk about when and how to shut off the gas and how to get it back on. Let's get started. Now, natural gas has a uh, funky, rotten egg kind of smell that's added to it by the gas company so that in the event of a leak, you can smell it and do something about it. Now, this is an older gas line with a manual shutoff valve here. It's just on the other side of the pressure regulator. Here's how we turn it off. So you're gonna need a wrench to turn it off. Either a wrench like this or a gas shutoff tool like this. You find this little valve. It could be anywhere on the main gas line, but this one's here. When you see it in line with the pipe, that means the gas is flowing. If it's turned perpendicular like this to the gas pipe, that means that the gas is shut off. So if you smell gas and you need to shut it off, all you do, fit the wrench to it. I'm not gonna do that right now and then just a quarter turn in any direction, and that'll shut off the gas. Now restarting the gas is the same thing. If it's already here, you just turn it until it's here in line with the pipe. Now, it's recommended that the gas company restart your gas after it gets shut off because they do a pressure test and they'll relight your pilots. But if you don't need a pressure test and you know how to relight your pilots, you can go ahead and do it. If your home or building has an automatic seismic shutoff switch, this is what it looks like, right on the gas line. Shaking greater than 5.3 magnitude will make the little ball in there fall off its pedestal and cut off the supply of gas. If it's a small tremor and there's no damage and you don't smell any gas and you'd like to turn it back on, the way to do it, you use a flathead screwdriver, you find this white screw, you give it a quarter turn clockwise and then back and that will reset the gas. Now, if you smell a gas and the automatic shutoff shut switch doesn't actually work and you need it to, some of them also are equipped with an emergency shutoff. The red screw here will do that for you. You simply do the opposite, a quarter turn counterclockwise and then reset and that will shut off the gas for you. Now, most people think that the gas company needs to come out and do this for you. And that's a good idea because they pressure test the gas line and they'll relight your pilots. But if you know how to do all that, you don't need a pressure test, and you know how to relight your pilots, all you do is you do that quarter turn, and you're all set. Well, I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the Be Ready YouTube channel for more emergency preparedness video tips and tricks. And remember, when it comes to preparing for an emergency, always be ready.